What are you doing here? It's a scary Sunday, but guys, I don't know if we have time. My family. Wait. My family. Hello? Hello? Mom? Dad? Hello? Dad? Where's... Did everyone leave? I just... Mom! Cousins? Dad? No siblings? No relatives here? It's, it's just me. You know what that means, right? All jokes aside, my family has departed. It was a very swell visit, and uh, you know, I'm ready to get back to work. Things going back to normal on the channel here. Gonna be playing some Mortal Kombat 11 soon. Slice that like button if you're excited about that. And today, we celebrate with a spooky scary Sunday, which I am happy that you are on time for once. All right, so before we get started, let's get some snacks. You guys know what time it is. Also, Edward Norton gave me a call. I told him the parents were in. He actually gave me another week, so we don't have to worry about him, which is good. Because when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. Just like I have to do to everyone that irritates me. Uh, why are you watching me? You should be going to get your snacks. It's Spooky Scary Sunday. You still standing there. Now if you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is by now, then I'm sure, I'm positively, overwhelmingly sure that you just subscribed in the last 15 minutes. Am I right? Yeah? No. What the frick do you mean, no? I've been doing Spooky Scary Sunday for over a f Oh, you did just subscribe. Okay, well, I can explain. Spooky Scary Sun- Wow, that's a- That's a blooper! <laughs> spooky- Yeah, go ahead and do it. At Cory Kenshin, hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday, and then drop a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video gets picked, you get a shout out, boss. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks. Go ahead, get you some, uh, wild berry Pop-Tarts. Maybe some Starburst jelly beans and I don't know, a root beer. And with all that being said, first video. <laughs> now, this first one is called Sonic the Hedgehog Improved Trailer. I mean, <laughs> with all the Sonic news that's going on, this is fitting. Now, this was uploaded by Surreal Entertainment. What's good, my friend? And this was sent to us by Meme Agent. So, Agent, you have fulfilled your duties. A promotion is in order for I now dub thee no longer Meme Agent, but Meme Lord. What is he? Oh, gotta go fast. Picked up. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Oh. All right. It's all good. Just pick them up. Gotta go fast. Uh. What? <laughs> Cars? Pop in. Uh, that's not how you get in cars. I. Lightning McQueen. Speed.
okay now we can get on to the real scary videos the next one is called instagram dating horror story and this is uploaded by juan c entertainment and this was sent to us by tom kopersky kopersky i'm gonna call you tom cop tom cop the time cop what now tom as a reward one of these delicious nutritious wild berry pop tarts my favorite flavor uh why do y'all do this every time tom tom come here hate the instagram horror stories i was a big tinder guy a few years ago everywhere i went bro this guy is black i would update my location and then update you know my body count body count then i quit doing tinder and stuck with instagram Ooh. i know they're completely different and ig has a bunch of fake accounts so, does so i saw this girl commenting on all of my friends pictures then she commented on mine uh oh i also saw my friends replying so i figured she was a real person because i looked on her page and she had way more followers than people she was following just like me so go ahead and go to instagram everybody take a second it is the story ain't going nowhere go to instagram at cory kinch we trying to get to 600k followers today if we do who knows maybe i might give like a giveaway on my story I don't... by the way why would you want to talk to a girl that all your friends were already replying to you really trying to share with the bros like that DM'd her. i definitely thought she wasn't going to reply but he DM'd she did her. an hour Bro, you're desperate. We talked for maybe two or three weeks and we made it official. She was pretty, had a degree, and a good job, as she said. Dang. I felt she was out of my league and too perfect. Right. Every day she posted new photos. And I told my friends about her and they seemed pretty jealous, except for my friend Ryan. He said I was stupid because I never spoke with her. And I only messaged her. Yeah, I mean. She invited me over because she said she can cook. Ryan told me to don't go. The rest of my friends said, don't have any kids. And they would laugh. So I went over there. Yo, this dude. But not without Ryan calling me a clown first. The GPS says she lived about Ryan an hour away. No something. When I first started to talk to her, she told me that she lived in a nice neighborhood. But when I got there, there were people everywhere and the neighborhood was not that nice. Oh, turn around. We when out. I stopped at the stop sign at the corner. People walked up to my windows and asked me, what do I need? Get back. But I pulled off really fast and got to the house. It was a duplex. So I messaged her and she said to come up the stairs. It was about nine at night and people were everywhere just standing around. Oh no. I knocked on the door and I was definitely excited. The door opened to my surprise. <laughs> If you actually thought you were about to meet her without any phone calls, without any video chat, FaceTime, you actually thought you were about to... <laughs> he actually thought you... <laughs> It was a bald-headed white guy with a patchy beard, tattoos everywhere, including his head, with a tank top on. That's a cholo. I asked, "Was Lisa home?" And he said, "Yeah, come in." Yep. Is Lisa? When I walked. Oh in, my God! I was immediately hit with a musty smell mixed with cheese. He told me to sit down. And he sat down across from me on the couch. He said she'll be out soon. He asked me did I want something to drink and I said, yeah, sure. When I got up, I texted her, can he, she come out? He got please? devil tattoos all she over. She immediately him. said yes. The man came back in with two cups of juice. No. One for him and one if for If he myself. drinks this, I will punch then my monitor. Then I noticed monitor. that he put a phone down on the table Whoa! next to him. So I I, I, I said I would do it. This man just drank the punch out the punch bowl at the suicide party. You earned this, pal. You earned this! Acted like I sneezed and got some on my arm. 
Then I asked for a tissue. He went to get some tissue and he left his phone like I thought he would. I texted her back and to my horror, the phone rang. I looked on the caller ID and it was my name. I heard him coming back. Uh, what? He came back and Are you serious? he sat there for about a minute. And then the phone rang again because he never checked the message that I sent. He looked at the phone. I looked at the phone. I looked at the phone. Yeah. Then we looked at each other. I postured up and he calmly said, I guess you caught me. Then out of nowhere, he lunged toward oh, me. Oh, his hands. Something to grab me. Oh! on his face. Oh, I my. Out of there so fast and I never looked back. Yeah, I called the cops. And when they got there, the man was still knocked out. Slump! After that, I never went on dates with people that I've met online again. Okay, I got some words, all right? He redeemed the freak out of himself at the end. Bro, did you see the K.O. K.O. They did the Scott Pilgrim freaking. Uh, I said catch these hands, but they never really, <laughs> they never really throw a punch. <laughs> Yo, it's so real good. Not gonna hit me. Dog, I will slide you. I'm the This next one's called My Creepy Coworker Has a Crush on Me and it was uploaded by Steven D. Now this was sent to us by Quincy Dorm. So Quincy, is this me and you right now? All the other samurai? I'm not talking to y'all. Just go ahead, plug your ears, do what you gotta do. Or take a walk, I, I don't really care. Cause you didn't send me this. You didn't follow me on Twitter. You didn't hashtag Sweet Scary Sunday and you didn't send me this. So don't get mad. Get glad, my guy. Anyway, Quincy, I just want to say thank you so much for sending me this creepy coworker has a crush on me, man. This is, this is probably about to be lit, huh? You watched it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Back when Sarah was 17, she worked at a small local bakery. There were less than 15 employees spread across all the night and day shifts, so they only had a few people working during the day. Okay. One of these people was Dave, the delivery driver. Oh, Dave. From the first time they met, Dave immediately gave Sarah an off vibe. He was in his mid-50s and way too friendly to a teenage girl. But the boss told her that yes, he could be annoying, but no one worked harder than he did, so just ignore his antics. Okay. Sarah then recalled that when she signed the paperwork, they never asked her to submit a background check. And in hindsight, that should have been red flag number two. Dang. Over the course of the year or so that she worked with Dave, Sarah tried very hard Look to ignore him. him. He was rarely outright creepy, but he was always just a bit too friendly. He would stick around long after his shift was Yo. over to talk to her and another pastry chef. He always wanted to lick the bowl after she finished making Rice Krispie treats. He would always stand in front of the racks or equipments or ingredients just enough that sometimes her hand would brush him while reaching for something. Get Dave back. always stood just a little too close. Dave was constantly asking Sarah about her life. What she liked, what she did for fun, if she had a boyfriend. Almost daily, he would tell her how a nice girl like her should have a boyfriend. How maybe a boyfriend would be... Unhand me, you troglodyte! Sarah let this slide because sometimes older people can say things that were meant differently in their time. But then, it was the concert invites. Every other week, he had tickets to one concert or another. Once he figured out Sarah's favorite genre of music, it was oh almost exclusively tick- <laughs> Look how slick my dude was! Look how slick he was! ...or another. Once he figured out Sarah's favorite genre of music, <laughs> it was- This is how I used to walk by my crush in high school. Oh, she likes Lost, huh? Okay, I'll talk about that next time was almost exclusively tickets to bands she desperately wanted to see Dang. but she also knew that she should not go anywhere with him then her birthday came he bought her a t-shirt and it was two sizes too small he told her to try it on after work and text him a photo no. and proceeded to give sarah his phone number he didn't ask for her number she said no he asked the other pastry chef for her number, but she had her back and refused as well. Ugh. He also brought two tickets from another band that Sarah had been wanting to see. 
VIP section 21 plus only. He said he could get her in. She just had to Ew. go with him Ew. and him alone. This continued for a while. Sarah brought it up to one of her bosses, but they laughed it off as, Oh, classic Dave. When he wanted a hug on his birthday classic and hugged her Dave. without consent. There's Dave for you. Offering to get her booze or pot. Oh, Dave, you scamp. When he pulled up his shirt and showed his abdominal scar from a snowboarding accident. Well, that's just Dave. Oh. No respect for boundaries. But he was a good worker. Sarah even considered having one of her big strong male friends come in under the guise of being her boyfriend Yo. just to placate Dave. She was repulsed by him, but he hadn't really done anything to classify himself as a predator. Besides asking yeah, he for did. her number, he had never tried to straight up harass her, and besides the odd hug or two that she was too shy and afraid to refuse, he Bro. hadn't gotten super physical. Speak up. Then one day, Dave was gone. His name disappeared from the employee roster. Sarah's boss asked to see her in the office. She informed her that Dave was no longer employed yeah, at the business. Dave had been fired. He was fired because Dave was a convicted sex offender. There is one count kidnapping a minor from the mid-90s and another count that she doesn't want to think about. They had never background checked him and when they contacted a friend you? in the police department, they found out that Dave had been lying on lots of paperwork hiding the fact that he was a convicted felon and not notifying anyone when he moved. Once they brought this information to the police department's attention, they had a few more charges to add. They found out because apparently he had been stalking and harassing one of the clients he delivered to. After his oh. termination, Dave showed up to work one day. He had a weapon with him, oh. but Sarah never found out what he had. They told him to leave or the police would be called, and he ended up leaving in handcuffs. Sarah was extremely relieved that she wasn't there that day. It's been a while since she worked at the bakery, but sometimes she still thinks about how badly things could have gotten had she gone to even one of those concerts with him. My God! Now that we know, bro, the sound effects in this story—you put those sound effects to anything, it gets scary. Guys, this morning I went downstairs. It was a long night. I woke up very hungry. There's only one breakfast food that could satisfy my empty stomach. It was cereal. I went to the pantry, grabbed a box. I went, grabbed a bowl with a spoon. Poured some frosted flakes into the bowl. They looked delicious. I went over to the fridge, grabbed the carton of milk. Was empty. Now this next one's called a creepy deep. A creepy deep. Freaking stuttering. I'm sorry. This next one's called a creepy deep web story two, and this was uploaded by Llama Arts. Hey Llama, how's it been? We missed you. This was sent to us by Brandon FRFX. So Brandon, I appreciate you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And, uh, be smooth. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> All right. Deep web. I was 26 years old, and I was unemployed. Feeling unfulfilled by the monotony of a job life, I decided I would try my hand at working from home. So my days and nights comprised me of surfing the internet for any jobs I could get. I was a big procrastinator, so more often than not I'd stray away and waste time doing other things. Yeah, I remember when PewDiePie reacted to my video. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> One day, I came across talk about the deep web while on Reddit. I felt amused by the people talking about it as if it was something so scary and decided I'd look into it. It was stupid of me to go on it in the first place, but I made it even sillier by deciding to check it out late at night. 80. It was about 2 a.m. and I came across a website where you could chat with someone anonymously. The person I got was a woman. She was in her early 20s and very pretty. What? She sat with her head in her hands, looking playful into the webcam while batting her eyes. Do I had so. no desire to turn my camera on and started our chat thinking that while I didn't come across anything scary, I could befriend this pretty girl. It sounded like a better deal anyway. Bro. 
How are you typing? She told me to turn the camera on, but I ignored that request and tried to get her to talk. Oh. She finally did after some prodding, but I noticed how guarded she was. I also noticed how after every message I sent, her eyes would look off camera, either to her side or somewhere behind Bro, her computer. She's being directed. After a while, it started getting annoying, so I asked her if someone else was there with her. I want to see you first. She said. Up until now, I'd been chatting while she'd answered my questions verbally. I'm not that curious. Don't be scared. She said, <laughs> laughing, this time looking behind the laptop again and making a face that seemed to indicate she was laughing at my expense with someone else. Yeah. This is getting boring. It feels like I'm not just talking to you. That's because you're not. You're talking to all of us. Who else is there? Turn your camera on. Dude. Is this a joke? Don't do it. Turn it on. No. Okay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Turn on the camera. Or Her what? laughter was almost piercing by now. There was nothing humorous about the situation, yet she threw her head back with ah! I'd had enough and moved the cursor over to turn the chat box off when I saw the cursor had jammed. Oh, the only no. thing that was working was the chat box. Unplug! I still had access to the keyboard. Unplug! Turn the camera on, sweetie. No, Her baby. Her drop filled voice was louder than before. Oh, no, baby. I moved my gaze up to see her smiling toothfully at the camera. Bro. Her face still beautiful. But Unplug the smile your computer. Fake. My computer's crashed. I can't see the screen. Sorry. I lied. I didn't want her to know I had no option but to chat. Her screen flashed before going blank. There was nothing there but a black screen. I felt relieved thinking that at least I didn't need to talk to her while I tried to figure out what happened to the screen. Just then, a chat message popped up. Open the damn camera, you... Oh my God. The aggressiveness in the message frightened me. Now, the fact that I couldn't see her face while she typed this made me feel nervous. Dude. I didn't dare reply back. But then the cursor moved. Oh! Oh no! shell-shocked as the cursor twirled around Whoa! Put your camera down! Open the camera now. I still didn't make a move. There was no way anything good would be waiting Just for me if I did what she asked. The screen began flickering, as if a virus was causing the computer oh to my. writhe in agony. Do you want me to find behind you? My heart raced. Could it be possible she knew where I was? I started typing. Please stop bothering me. Then turn on the fucking camera. Dang. By this point, I thought she was some kind of sadist and got her kicks by scaring unassuming people in chat rooms. So I obliged and turned the webcam on. You are... I saw my frightened face staring into the screen. Judging by my face, my attempts at looking tough were painfully unsuccessful. You look I asked around for the girl looking straight into the camera, telling her I did what she wanted and to stop hacking into my computer. There were several seconds of silence. I kept my stare directed to the little box that showed her camera feed, but it was pitch black. I motioned into the camera in confusion, feeling as if she was messing with me now. He did. Then I saw another message. Look here. After a few seconds of staring at those words, I looked back at her camera, but my computer instantly malfunctioned, and I received another message. Look here. Don't look up. The chat was filled with nonsensical gibberish. Oh, you're dead, she dude. typed with such ferocious speed, my screen whirled away with her constant messages. I couldn't understand what was going on, but I didn't look up. My patience ran thin, and I wrote back, What is this supposed to mean? Her response came. I read only the letters in bold and shuddered. I looked back into her webcam, oh and I fell back into my chair. My eyes widening. She was back there. Only her face looked completely demented. What the f she had a savage expression, devoid of emotion, but her eyes were almost popping out of their sockets, and she was huffing as if she had extreme amounts of pent up rage. The way she looked directly into the camera made me feel she despised me with all of her being. Look at her. There was no amusement there anymore. Her camera went blank again. Then the chat popped up. Dude. My heart stopped again. Don't do it. For a split second, there had been the same blackness, 
only for the lights to come back on. Who the- she wasn't alone anymore. <gasps> there was a man next to her with a black mask on. He made no movements other than look into the camera like the girl. The girl's neck oh. creaked to her side. It looked like it was causing her pain. And then the lights went out again. Bro, she the her chat resumed. Uh. This time, I screamed in fright and fell off my chair. There was another man with them now. He was standing next to the girl with oh. the original one on the other side. This man had the same mask on, but his hands were grasping the girl's shoulders. Even with the subpar quality of the webcam, I could see the force with which the man dug his hands into the girl. It looked like he could rip her in two. The girl, however, had a huge grin on her face. Her eyes were mad with glee, or so it looked. Her teeth were perfectly lined up as her mouth spread into that toothy grin, but I could see she was in pain. Even with the smallest sign of her smile fading, the man clenched his hands even tighter than before, which made her smile even wider. All three of them were shaking, as if it was extremely cold where they were. After a couple seconds, I realized they were shuddering, like trying to hold back laughter. What are you laughing at? I yelled into the screen. They didn't answer, and continued to tremor with concealed hilarity. What is so damn funny? I bellowed. Bro, don't get they tough stopped now. shaking. Within a couple seconds, the screen went black again. When it turned back on, oh. the man no longer grasped the girl's shoulder. Neither was she smiling. All three pointed into the camera. Upon a closer look, I oh, understood that they were pointing at me. They were pointing behind oh. me. I didn't need to look back, I could see myself in the webcam. There was someone peeking from behind me. It was another man in a mask. And according to what I saw in my webcam, he was with me in my room. Right behind me. I turned around quickly, but saw nothing where I had seen- Guys, that literally gave me chills, guys. Look at my eyes. Oh my gosh, the way that they did that. Llama! I haven't been genuinely creeped out like this in a while. That's the thumbnail of the video. The way that they did that is... Oh webcam. I turned back towards the screen and, to my bewilderment, saw a third man in the girl's chat box. What? It was the same man I had just seen standing in my room. There's, now, she's dead. all three had their hands on the girl and were gripping tight. The girl wasn't laughing anymore. She had a look of utter devastation. A tear was dropping from her eye, but it wasn't just a tear. It was blood trickling down her eye socket. What? She then mouthed the words, help me. And the next second, she screamed as if her lungs were being ripped off as the screen went black. I immediately got up and pulled the plug out of my computer oh. and backed out of the room. You're too late! For a couple seconds, I swear I You're heard next. her screams, even though the computer was unplugged. The room went quiet, but I was too devastated to stay there and ran out of my house despite it being 3 a.m. I caught a cab and went over to my friends, who had to talk me down for an hour before I could be calmed. I returned back to my house with my friend a day later. Everything was the same, and after thoroughly checking around the house, we concluded that there was no one there, Dude, you're dead. nor was there a sign of anyone ever having broken in. I've never gone back to the deep web. My friend suggested it might have been some prank by computer hackers, but the way that girl shrieked. The terror she had on her face. He convinced me she had been a victim herself. I had wondered if I had stayed on for longer, if I would have become a victim too. Could those men have found me? Was there really someone in the room with me? There was nothing I could do, because there was nothing concrete to report to the police. What I did do was throw the computer out and buy a new one. There was no way I could even open it back up after what happened. Bro, they, they got your IP address. Bro, they don't even... 
That was insane. Now this next one, which isn't an animation, okay, it's live action. I know the transition, say first animation, second animation, third animation. Well, it's not. They're not all animations. What are you gonna do? Fight me? Well, put your paws up, cause I don't have time. This next one's called Rue, and it was uploaded by Alter. It's good, guys. I wasn't even recording. Haha, <laughs> that's a nice save. Now this was sent to us by Wavy Guy. Uh, I can only call one god, so I'm gonna just say Wavy Guy. Wavy. You know what else is Wavy? Ruffles. You know the Wavy ones? Man, those things get your mouth really dry though. And they kind of scratch. You know, Captain Crunch always gets a lot of flack for, oh yeah, you, you want the inside of your gum scratched when you eat them? Ruffles? Y'all are... Y'all right there with him, though. All right, I, this is being sidetracked. Wavy, thank you. Alter. Here we go. It's about to have a twist at the end. Man, Alter videos, they always go crazy. This is like a film. Dang. How much longer am I gonna be here? Till I see! I'm sorry. Well, since the time that I wasted with you two in the principal's office was supposed to be spent grading papers, maybe that's how much longer you owe me. That, or until you two want to tell me what this is all about. Ask her. She's the one that rushed me while I was standing in front of the class, calling me a cunt. Yeah, excuse me. Oh. Reading from a report which not only needs a spell check, but was directed squarely at Clubber Lang here. Look, if she took what I wrote personally, that's her problem. And mine is that you're using class time to threaten somebody with the wrath of some bargain bin local ghost. Made up of the hands of the missionary settlers it slaughtered while they were in prayer. Okay, look, I know that you students think us teachers are uptight and preachy and all thou shalt not, but it wasn't that long ago that we were right where you are. And some of us care enough to keep our ear to the ground. We hear what's being said, Mallory. Mm. Checkmate. Well, you can't control who you fall in love with. Nani? Isn't that right? And look, I get it. You don't take what I wrote seriously because you're new here. But the story's been around forever. That it all starts by seeing things from the corner of your eye. Things you're ashamed of and would do anything to forget. Uh, what? But you can't stop them. That's Rue, haunting you, festering you for slaughter. What's on your lips? When it finally comes, you can't scream. Nothing comes out your mouth. It's like in a nightmare. You can't scream. But yeah, you're right. A lot say it's just some stupid story people tell around the campfire. But you didn't get to hear my conclusion before I was punched in the face. Oh, that's what happened. Whether or not it's true, Rue is guilt. And that, I know for sure is real. Are you done with your soliloquy? Now go stand in the corner. Get up, go! <laughs> uh, get so trash grades out of my class. All right. So she wrote a paper, and then the girl punched her. Not really following the story too well. Uh. Oh yeah. 
Get her out of here. It's a C minus. You can recover. Look, don't let her get to you. Okay, she's just messing with your head because she's angry. Because she likes you more than a friend should, and you're not willing to reciprocate that. All right, she's the one that should be feeling guilty. She's the one that this ghost would be after. What? I mean, nothing bad is gonna happen just because you regret things. Oh, they were friends. But I need to know, what did you tell her? I love you. happening Trying to be a good teacher. <laughs> Body. Still don't know what Bro run Look at her just standing there She about to glitch she about to move Oh my gosh when it's too late. Oh, it's his! Alright you guys, we're gonna end this spooky scary Sunday right there. This week was uh this was a nice week. A very well balanced week. That llama arts one. I don't know guys, I, I don't know. It was just so well executed. The narration, 
coupled with the animation style and the build up i'm gonna need more fire from y'all next week go to twitter follow me at cory kenshin i'll give you a second hashtag spooky scary sunday and then link me to scariest video that you know doesn't necessarily have to be an animation just something spooky since we missed last sunday i might drop a triple s in the middle of the week who knows stay subscribed and hit the bell you don't want to miss it Spooky Scary Sundays, guys. Spooky Scary Sunday. Hey, guys. How's it going? Spooky Scary Sunday. You're right on time. And I just want to... Hold on one second. Hello. <laughs> Corey? Yes, this is he. You know I'm coming for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Edward Norton. How'd you know? So you're finally free. Yeah. What about And it? have access to a telephone. Yeah. That's what I'm calling you on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you had a debt to pay. Uh, no! I have no regrets. I'm coming for you. If you want to come, you know where I am. I do know where you are, and I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Yeah, when you... <laughs> what? Well seems next week we're gonna have ourselves a little visitor. Oh guys, before we get started, I want to show you something. Uh, hopefully, uh, you're excited for a little Mortal Kombat 11 tomorrow. I got sent this, uh, scorpion mask from WB. So yeah, guys, if you're excited for Mortal Kombat 11 Part 1 dropping tomorrow, you already know what to do with that like button. So without further ado, there'll be no more interruptions. Let's get started. So if you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is by now, then uh, hopefully you just subscribed because we're getting new subscribers all the time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to assume that you've been here. If you just subscribed, then no worries. I'll explain in a second. But if you have been around and still don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is, then Hmm, how do I say this? I'm actually go but going back. If you recently just subscribed and also hit the bell, I'll give you all a second. Spooky Scary Sunday is a show where every Sunday we come together as a samurai, our small little tribe on YouTube. We sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and I watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. Go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin, you already know. Hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday and link the scariest story that you know. And if your story gets picked, you get a shout out. So go ahead and get you a box of Ding Dongs, uh, maybe a two liter of Verners, you know, that's a Detroit favorite. Or if you have some uh, UK Samurai, some Jaffa Cakes. So with all that being said, first video. <laughs> Now the first video of this week is called Monster and it was uploaded by I'm Small Fry. This was sent to us by Princess, so uh, Princess, a quick word. All the other samurai, scooch your little small booty butts to the side. Hey Princess, I just want to say that like, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, but like for real, I just really like, it's crazy, but like, I really appreciate you. The freak? Hey, oh, okay. Oh, wow. This looks like some uh, actual really good animation. Cammy, is it just me or are we being watched? By who? It's just you, Charlotte. Chill out. Compliments of the gentleman at the end of the bar. Oh, no thanks. Look, that guy just spent 25 bucks on you. I'd take it if I were you. Will you drink it? I said I don't want it! Oh my gosh. Why are you walking home alone at night? Why? 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 Mm -hmm. I can't even be scared of you if you built like a whole M. 
Little big old freaking right angle 90 degree shoulders. Cammy, hello? What? I can't hear. Listen, can you stay on the phone? There's someone behind. Charlotte, you literally sound crazy. Just text me when you. I barely said anything! Cammy? I sound crazy because I said somebody is. Oh, here we go. Pepper shot. Pepper shot! Turn around! <laughs> oh, is she really <laughs> tripping? Oh. Nope, she wasn't. <laughs> Got free, there you go. <sighs> Hey, 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 I'm partying. Someone, I need. No, just stay in the crowd. Please, anyone? Help me. Why is everybody going? What the frick? Oh, there, sweetheart. Didn't anyone ever tell you it was in my Oh, see you freaking, freaking. They can't come in the light. Or yeah. If there is any time. Get away from me! I'm not afraid of you. Oh. Oh. Say hi to a pretty girl. You know, I feel a certain kind of way about a man that wants to put his freaking hands on a woman. You wanna put your freaking hands on a woman, huh? You wouldn't have walked away from that situation. <laughs> Dang. Go ahead, get your license to carry. That's the, the true equalizer. I'm Small Fry. That was a really dope animation. Now the next one's called Do Not Eat the Carrot and it was uploaded by Surreal Entertainment who is a really awesome dude. I actually talked to him for a little bit. Super nice guy. Now this was sent to us by Ali. Yo, I wanna say thank you for sending me this video. Um, I mean, I, I don't really have a lot on my desk. I mean, I got this muscle milk bar. Um, 20 grams of protein. All right, that's that's pretty good. Here, Ali, Ali, take, Ali. I'm giving this to you. It's a gift. Oh, this is gonna be. Weird. Do not eat the carrot. Okay. What? Hello? Do not eat the carrot. I understood. All right. I'm not. Why not? Do you want orange pants? 
No, I freaking hate orange. Carrots make your pants turn orange. What? Thank you for saving me. Hasta la vista. Oh my gosh, why is this so weird? Jokes on you, I'm sentient, and heard everything you said. Now shut up and put me in your mouth. Uh, no. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Carrots shall one day reign supreme. Resistance is futile. Now this next one's called Tripophobia and it was uploaded by Buddy Booth. Now Tripophobia is the fear of like uh like little holes, like a little pattern patterns of like holes and things. So if you have it, you might want to just move forward. I'll probably put the timestamp here. I don't have this, um, but this should be interesting. Now this was sent to us by Danny. So Danny, um, you probably about to make a lot of people uncomfortable, but I'm here for it. I'm wow. trying to see. Nastiest bathroom. Where are you? I need a ride, but my phone's gonna die. Please call me. Uh oh. Bathroom? I mean, phone? Ew. Your phone has AIDS now. Oh! Needle. Dirty needle. You have AIDS now. Cut your hand off. There's no other way. Dude, she don't leave it in there. Tripo. Trifo. <laughs> Vaccine. And her phone cracked. The virus is an extremely dangerous and deadly disease. The virus works by causing clusters of holes that spread across the body. The virus can be spread through physical contact, saliva, or blood. If you believe you uh -oh. have contracted the virus, it is important to act quickly. First, right. wash any area you believe has been in contact with the virus with soap and warm water. All right. Many victims report seeing clusters of holes at the point of contact. Uh oh. Uh oh, about to get gross. Ugh. If this is the case, wash these areas immediately. Some of the other effects of the virus include excruciating pain, sweating, vomiting, migraine, psychosis. Uh, it's a bar of soap in a public restroom? And death. Ugh. If done correctly, the infected will no longer be able to see any holes, meaning that the virus has gone into a temporary remission. Oh! Ooh. If the holes can still be seen, this means the virus has spread into stage two of the infection. Oh my god. At this point, a stronger disinfectant is necessary, such as antibacterial washer rubbing alcohol. Dude, how about we get out of this nasty bathroom that we're in? This will Leech? close the holes and see. Yeah, I'm drinking that. Yep. Apply generously to all infected areas. Once this has been done, contact the quarantine team immediately. If done correctly, the infected will no longer be able to see any holes. Oh, okay. Unless the virus spread to other areas of the body, in which case, the infected should quarantine themselves immediately. Uh, you feel so? If the virus continues oh. to spread, you must place the infection. That's on her head? Bruh, you about to get killed because you wanted to 
set your phone down on a dirty bathroom countertop. You're dead. Why is he locked in the bathroom? Say something. If you come across an infected individual that has escaped quarantine, avoid them at all costs. They are dangerous. Do not alert them. Do not touch them. Do not let them see you. What's going on with this? Avoid them at all costs. I thought I was about to say kill them. <laughs> Yeah, you're done. You're done. Y'all, watch out for dirty needles, man. Don't reach in no dang trash cans. Oh, jump scare inbound. Get your phone. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't have that phobia, but I mean, the loud noises that that still scares me. <laughs> Alright, this next one's called Creepy Deep Web Horror Story, and it was uploaded by Juan C Entertainment. This was sent to us by Jalen Garcia. Corey Kenshin, so I can only imagine that you appreciate me. You've already sliced that like button, and the fact that you've sent me this could only mean that you adore me. And Jalen Garcia. Corey Kenshin, I adore you as well. Any deep web anything, I'm not a fan. A few years ago, while I was in high school, the deep web was becoming very popular. I this is a brother. You can always tell a black guy from a white guy. Like my voice. Like, <laughs> if y'all heard me on the phone. Because <clears throat> most of y'all hear my, sub YouTube? Hey, guys. <laughs> but, you know, when I'm on the phone, it's late at night. and Talking to a lady, I'm like, hey. Hello. Yeah, girl. Yeah, I just got done. I just got out the shower. And then I hit it with the Sarange, Sarange. Sarange. Two years ago while I was in high school, the deep web was becoming very popular. I never really got into it until my friend told me about it because he was into that weird stuff. Yeah. One day Looks after like school, it. I had nothing to do, so I went on to the browser tour. Oh. I didn't really see much, so I called my friend over so he could help me out. Once he got to my house, we started searching more and more. We saw a lot of drugs and illegal weapons, stuff like that. Mm. Then he clicked on a link that was in a chat room, and the link said, watch this. As we're sitting there, we we're just staring at the screen that went from black to the outside of a building within a few seconds. And out of nowhere, a sticky note that said, Want to see something cool? No. No. So then I typed, yeah, sure. Oh. Wow. What was weird was the guy wouldn't type. He just showed sticky notes in the camera. And he also never spoke. All of a sudden, the camera started moving toward the building that it was facing. As we're watching him move toward the building, we noticed that the building was in our neighborhood. What? Then he quit moving and put another sticky note that said, LOL. That kind of creeped me. Bro, my camera died, but... I mean, what if they didn't get on the deep web that day? Out. And then a person entered the building, which was eerily dark. No. The camera stopped at a padlocked door and then unlocked it and opened it. The camera moved toward the back of this dark room. And there was a dog bowl on the floor. Now, at this point, the camera was only facing the dog bowl. A few moments later, Whoever the person was that was holding the camera put something in the bowl that looked like just slop. Yeah. Honestly, it looked like feces. Yeah. Then you hear another door open and a girl crying in the background, along with a chain dragon. This girl shows up in the camera crying with a chain around her neck. 
And the guy shoved her face in the bowl and puts a sticky note in front of the camera that said, cool, right? Then the screen goes black. We sat there for about 10 minutes in disbelief, but the stream was still live. Then out of nowhere, the camera was back on. Then it was in the corner of my street. Then another sticky note that said, 545 East 99 Street off of St. Clair. That was my address. Off then another up. sticky note that said, open the door. We sat there confused, then out of nowhere, a knock at the door. I... Somebody come knocking at my door? Now let me tell you something, brother. You wanna come knocking at my door looking for trouble? I got a friend here. His name is 12 Gauge. He only speaks one language and that's Buckshot. Grabbed my phone, jumped up, and we both ran to the back door. Then we heard a knock at that door right before I grabbed the handle. At that point, we had someone at the back door and someone at the front door okay. knocking. Okay, y'all got two we people. We were stuck. Critical thinking wasn't my strength at that point. We ran upstairs, called the cops, and locked ourselves in my room. The cops showed up, but no one was outside. Only items of the cops found oh. were 100 sticky notes. All with my address written on it. they got that much time? I told the cops about the building with the girl, and they found it. The girl was 14 and had been missing for five weeks. We moved out of that house within a week. But I would never visit the deep or the dark web again. Hey, it's not, man. I already learned about the dark web from Adam. And welcome to the game. Nah. Y'all can have that. The last one of this week is called Balloon, and it was uploaded by my new friends at Alter. Hey guys, thanks for being so awesome to me. This was sent to us by Sydney Allen. Um, Sydney, there's a place in Australia that's called Sydney. I know that because I follow the community channel. She's always talking about that. Anyway, to the side. Uh, Sydney, I really appreciate you. The rest of y'all, I'm not talking to y'all. Y'all could have followed me on Twitter, sent me this, but you didn't. But you didn't. But you didn't. Alter! Them legends. My name is Penny, and I have a fear of balloons. Oh. I don't like it when they Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Yo! Guys, I farted. No! Oh my! Wow. Two jump scares, one video. Everybody clap it up. Y'all did crazy this week. Wow. My name is Penny, and... I have a fear of balloons. I'm scared. I don't I'm scared. like it when they. Hmm. It just caught me off guard. It's last called time. globophobia. The fear of <sighs> balloons usually begins in childhood when somebody is frightened by their god awful sense of timing. I think I got globophobia. I just never knew it. I hate the sound that they make when people rub their hands on them. You good, Penny? However, my childhood was different. It's not the balloon itself. It's who it represents. Y'all, y'all see what they doing, right? Her name is Penny. Y'all know Penny Wise, the clown. She has a red balloon. I'm right with you, Alter. you yelling 
for? What the freak? Why would you get in the car? She captured, captured. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Penny. He just Penny. sung happy birthday to her. Penny. I love your name. And I love you. Would you like a balloon? I just want to go home. You're dead. I'll See? make you a deal, sweetheart. You got in the car with him, idiot. If you can answer three questions correctly, I'll let you go back to your birthday party. Deal? Here we go. Brain, don't fail me now. However, if you get three wrong... Pop! <laughs> what if I get two wrong and one right? Or two right and one wrong? Question number one. Do you love me? Yes. No. Wrong. Mother and father love me? Oh. Yes. That's wrong. Wrong! She literally got the first two questions wrong. Do I deserve ice cream and cake? Yes. Just like all the other kids? Yes. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Are clowns funny? Yes. Are scary? Funny. They're... They're funny. You're the most frightening thing that can happen to a child. Please. FBI, open up! Please, open up! We're not here now! Step away from the child! FBI open up! They had the three knocks and everything. Dang, scarred for life. All because you want to get in the car. You're lucky the police came. So sorry, Penny. Don't be. How are we gonna fix that? Today was a huge step for you. How have the exercises with the pictures been? They're fine, I guess. It's getting easier to look at. Did you know that Oprah has globophobia? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. She's much older than me. What if it never goes away? I mean, there are some days where I can't get him out of What's my head. What's that car doing, Penny? We will get there. The next step is to have the ability to surround yourself with them. You do this, you conquer your fear of him. Tomorrow's the anniversary. I deal with it every year. I know. Now's the time. I will do whatever it takes. I mean, how often? Joining us in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is Sheila Kelly. Sheila? Thanks, Jeff. Clown sightings are still at large as people celebrate the anniversary of serial killer Poppy the Clown. Later tonight, we will air the shocking documentary of how this famous killer came to be. A story of neglect, abandonment, and where it all started. A birthday party. How often is she around balloons? I mean, I'm like barely ever around balloons. Do you go to birthday parties a lot? Or... Like you just don't encounter balloons in everyday life. Like... Tomorrow? Just make it until tomorrow.
こんばんは<笑> oh, <what? 笑>
You were supposed to be a ten! Penny! <laughs> Bro, what did you think was a... And you did it? Y'all were doing this with a real knife? Bruh. This idiot. Uh, I'm out. All right, you guys. Uh, this was an all-star week, in my opinion. Um, I pretty much liked every single one. 10 out of 10. I need you to come with this same energy next week, all right? Follow me on Twitter, at Corey Kenshin. Send in scariest video. Um, wow. Spooky Scary Sunday, though. Am I right, guys? Spooky Scary Sunday. I'll see you next week. Happy Easter. We appreciate you, Jesus.